The November election will be here before we know it, and when Boulder voters open their ballots, they're likely to see as many as three questions about the city's ongoing efforts to create local electric utility. The first potential ballot item may be in regards to your electric bill. Electric customers have paid a utility occupation tax in lieu of a franchise fee for several years since the previous electric franchise expired and was not renewed. That utility occupation tax, of which a portion helps to fund the formation of a city-owned utility, is set to expire soon, and voters may be asked to extend it until a city-owned utility is formed or a new franchise is in place. City Council is currently determining how it will move forward with funding for this effort in the years to come. They'll make a final determination on the ballot language over the next couple of weeks, but it's anticipated that they will ask voters to both renew the tax and increase the tax. The amount that would impact utility payers depends on how long the tax is extended. City Council is considering between three to six years. If Council approves the three-year option, residential customers would have to pay around $3.23 each month on their electric bill over the course of three years. If they decide to extend it to six years, which is the longest time they're discussing, it will result in a monthly increase of about 70 cents. The second measure, also expiring at the end of this year, is in regards to City Council executive sessions. These are meetings in which City Council and City Attorneys are allowed to meet privately to discuss legal matters about forming a city-owned electric utility. City voters previously approved executive sessions and limited them to municipalization legal matters. Those sessions usually involve the City Attorney providing updates to our City Council members and receiving feedback on next steps related to the litigation. It's anticipated that City Council will ask voters to renew their approval of these limited sessions. It's also possible that City Council will put further limitations on it. And the third potential item on the ballot reaffirms Boulder's electric utility. The third ballot item is frankly the most complicated. In 2013, City Council created our electric utility on paper. This utility is not operational at this time in terms of offering electricity or issuing debt. None of that has happened. In the courtroom, however, Excel Energy, the current electric provider, has challenged the city's decision to form an electric utility and is in litigation with the city. The city attorney's office is recommending that we simplify this process by asking voters to just approve the creation of the on-paper utility and then adding a provision that will require another vote by voters before council can actually issue debt. This potential ballot item addresses the pending court issues and gives voters an opportunity to weigh in before the city issues debt to build its own electric utility. Ballot items are still being considered by the council. Information about the approved ballot items will be available on bouldercolorado.gov before the November 2nd election. And of course, you can always watch the council discussions on Channel 8 or on boulderchannel8.com.